Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to automatically create more descriptive titles for your pivot charts with a macro. So in this example here I have a few pivot charts and as you probably know every time you insert a pivot chart onto a sheet the default title is typically the word total or the word uh, chart title. So we always have to take extra steps to then uh, add a descriptive title here to our pivot chart. It's something that looks like this over here. So I've written a few macros that will help automate this process. The first macro is just a very simple macro that takes the field names that are used in the pivot table or the pivot chart. Uh, like this here, we have total revenue by region. That's exactly what we have. The fields that are used in our pivot table here, the total revenue field and the region field. So that macro will just create the chart title for us based on those used fields. So that's a simple one there. And then we have another macro that creates more of a dynamic subtitle. And uh, what I mean by that is on this example here, uh, we have a pivot chart with a few slicers next to it. And of course, these slicers are applying filters to the pivot table and the pivot chart here. And sometimes we wanna see what those filters are on the pivot chart. So this macro actually creates this dynamic subtitle here in a text box that shows all the filter fields and their criteria. And it's dynamic, so as we apply filters here, if we were to just filter for quarters one, two, and three here for our pivot chart, we'll see, of course, the chart updates and the subtitle also updates here to display that filter criteria. So let's go ahead and jump over to the VB editor and I'll uh, walk through these macros and briefly explain them. So we're gonna go to the developer tab here, open the uh, Visual Basic editor, and you'll be able to download this file and make this file available for free download, uh, dynamic pivot chart title, and there's a chart title module within the file that contains the macros here. So we have the first macro is the auto title pivot chart, and this is the macro that just creates that simple title uh, based on the fields that are used Used in the pivot table. So if we just scroll down through the macro here, we can see uh, it's working on the active chart. So we'll first need to select a pivot chart. And uh, then really what it does is it just loops through the data fields or the fields in the values area. And then it also loops through the row fields and the column fields here of the pivot table and creates a string of text to create that descriptive title based on the captions or the names of each of those fields in each of those areas. And then it also has a separator text here, uh, which you can define at the top of the macro using the word by uh, to separate each field name. And it also use the ampersand symbol to uh, separate multiple fields in the values area. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works and run the macro. Now, before we do that, I also wanna mention that I've added these macros to my personal macro workbook. So I also have them down here in my personal macro workbook. I've just added the chart title module here uh, with those macros as well. And then what I've done is if I go back over to Excel, I have this custom ribbon here called my macros and I've added these macro buttons here to run the macros. And I have a whole nother video series that explains the personal macro workbook and how to create a custom toolbar ribbon and custom buttons like this. So I'll put a link to that below this video as well. And so what this means now is that I can go to any pivot chart. So I have a few examples here in the workbook. So here's kind of a default pivot chart. Again, we just have the word total here for the chart title. Now, all I have to do is just select the chart. So I have the chart selected here. And then again, I go to my macros tab and then click this button right here. And this button's going to run that macro, the auto title pivot chart macro. So I'll just go ahead and click it right there. And we can see that that's automatically modified the chart title to include all the field names in the pivot table or I should say the fields that are used in the pivot table. So I have another example here where we have multiple fields in the rows area. So if we just, uh, we'll just go ahead and show the field list. We can see over here in the rows area, we now have the region field used and also the salesperson. And uh, then we also have total revenue in the values area. So if we run the macro now, again, we'll just select the chart here. 
go ahead and run the macro. That will add our chart title here. And again, it's just going to use all those field names. So it's total revenue, which is the values area field by region by salesperson. So the point there is that the macro still works. If you have multiple fields here in the rows area or the columns area, in this case, the legend, or in the values area. You can have multiple fields in your pivot chart and the macro will include all of those in the chart title. If you're enjoying this video, please click that big red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell icon there to get notified when new videos are published. So now let's take a look at the other macro, which creates the dynamic subtitles. So we'll go over to another example uh, sheet I have here with multiple filter items. And in this case here, again, we have a pivot table, pretty simple pivot table, but now we have some fields up here in the filters area. And of course, these fields are applying filters to the entire pivot table. And I've also inserted some slicers here onto the sheet that also filter the pivot table and the pivot chart. And as I showed in the beginning of the video, sometimes we want to include that filter criteria, all of this filter criteria here, or the filter criteria created by the slicers. It's all the same thing. We want to include that in the chart here, in the chart's title, or in the subtitle. So the second macro does that. And again, we'll jump back over to the VB editor, and I'll briefly explain that macro. If we scroll down here, it's also included in the chart title module here. And it's called dynamic pivot chart filters text box. Now this macro is actually going to do something similar by looping through the used fields in the filters area. I'll just jump down here and show that. Uh, this is where the looping's done in the page fields, which is again those fields in the filters area. But this time it actually creates a formula in a cell in a worksheet, in the worksheet there. And then we link the chart title to that cell. So this is more dynamic and as filters are applied to the pivot table and the pivot chart, that formula updates to display the filter criteria. So in this case, the macro is actually bringing in these addresses of the cells of those fields, the label range, and then over here, uh, we have the data range as well. And it's just bringing in the addresses of those cells to create that formula that points to those cells. And then uh, we're going to output it to a sheet and we use an input box to allow the user to select where we wanna output that formula. And then we also do some formatting to the chart to add a text box with the subtitle there that links to the cell that contains the formula and then modify some of uh, the properties here of that text box to kind of match the formatting of the title and the chart and also uh, move the plot area a little bit to make sure there's no overlap. So it does quite a bit of things there, but automates the entire process for us. So let's jump back to Excel and take a look at an example of how this works. So we're going to apply or create that dynamic subtitle uh, on this chart right here. And I'll just go ahead and select this pivot chart first. That'll be the first step. And then again, we're gonna go to the My Macros uh, custom ribbon here and run the macro. You don't have to have the macro button here to run it. You could just jump back to the VB editor and run the macro. It'll all work the same. I just have some nice buttons here that makes it a little bit easier. So I'll go ahead and click this button here and that's going to bring up this input box. It's going to ask us to select a blank cell for the dynamic subtotal. So we'll just put it here. We'll say cell H1 for now. Just needs to be a blank cell in the sheet and then we'll hit OK. And so that's gonna do all the work for us. You can see here, uh, first thing you can, you'll can you visually see is that the uh, title of the chart has been created here, total revenue by category, which again are those fields that are used in the pivot table. We can see those right over here, total revenue by category. And then it's also added this text box here. So this is a text box that contains the filter criteria. So it says filters, then we have the year uh, field here listed with the filter criteria for that quarter field with the uh, filter criteria there. Quarters one, two, and three are being filtered for. These are comma separated values. And then we also have the region field here. And so this text box, if you look up here in the formula bar, this is actually linked to cell H1 
in this sheet. So again, the macro does all this work for us. This is a way to create dynamic titles or subtitles for your charts. And the macro is doing all this work for us to then link to this cell right here. And this formula was also created by the macro. So if we just hit F2 to jump into this formula here to see what it's doing, it's just really a string of text that's also joined together with the cell references here to all of the fields in the filters area of the pivot table. Now you'll also notice that instead of uh, referencing these cells here that contain the criteria, I'm using another technique, uh, and I have a blog post on this, on how to display uh, multiple filter items. Uh, instead of having this multiple items right here, we can actually use another technique using the text join function to list out those multiple items. So in this case here, if we just had multiple items as our filter criteria, that wouldn't really help us very much. It's not very descriptive. However, there's another technique we can use to actually list out what those items are. And we have those listed right here in column C or in the cells next to uh, this range right here. And again, the link's there, and I'll put this below the video so you can go check out the post with that technique. But basically what happens here is these cells contain these text join formulas that point to some pivot tables on another sheet uh, on this uh, filter text sheet over here. These are actually pivot tables here with those fields in the rows area that list out those uh, fields and all the items that those fields are being filtered for, list those right there. And then the text join function just joins all those together and comma separates the values. The cool part is, is that the macro does all that work for us. It does just about everything for us. You will have to set up uh, the text join function and those other pivot tables. So you have to do that work ahead of time. Uh, but once you have that set up, then the macro creates the subtext, I'm sorry, the subtitle here with the text box. And as we apply filters here to our pivot chart and pivot table, those uh, filters are automatically going to appear in the subtitle here. So this is very nice for your users. They can easily see exactly what's being displayed in the chart and, and what it's filtered for without having to look through all the slicers that may or may not be right next to the chart or a pivot table that may or may not be on the same sheet as the chart. So the chart's kind of a self-contained item here and it contains all the filter criteria as well. So that dynamic uh, pivot chart title macro should definitely save some time with setting all of this up manually. I also just wanted to quickly mention if we jump back into the Visual Basic Editor here, that that uh, macro that's in the ribbon there is actually this is actually calling this macro right here, dynamic pivot chart titles, which then calls both of those macros. So we first just uh, auto title the pivot chart itself, modify the chart title to just include those fields in the uh, values, rows, and columns area, and then calls this macro to create the text box with the subtitle, with all of the filters, fields listed, and the filter criteria. And that places that text box in the pivot chart, also creates the formula on the sheet, does all that work for us. So I hope that helps save you some time when setting up your pivot charts on a dashboard or something like that. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.